Hello guys, my name is Lenise and welcome back to my channel. Hi Lenise and hi everyone who's listening. I just want to encourage you right now during this time of uncertainty. Hi everyone, when my friend Lenise asked people to encourage one another. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, my name is Rachel Grace. Thank you so much to Lenise for having me on your channel. I'm just so excited that I get to have the opportunity to talk to your viewers and give an encouraging message today. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel Grace. Um, I have a channel here on YouTube and I'm a Christian just like Lenise. We share a lot about our faith. Hey everyone, my word of encouragement will be to read the Bible verse, um, Romans 10, 9. We are living in weird times right now with this coronavirus. There's a lot of fear and worry going around and a lot of anxious thoughts. So Lenise asked me to share an encouraging message with you guys and I love this idea because I think we could all use an encouragement this time. Um, in the world, it's just kind of crazy and things are very unknown and uncertain and there's a lot of fear and people are very scared. I had to think about this Bible text and I'm just gonna share it with you. It's in Jeremiah 17 verse 7 and 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sent out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. There's no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. I just want to encourage you right now that perfect love casts out fear, right? And fear in and of itself is contagious, yes, it's easily spreadable, but so is a sound mind and peace that surpasses all understanding. I want to encourage you with two Bible verses today that I have found to be huge sources of comfort and just, I guess, encouragement. Um, I know I keep using that word, but these are two huge sources of encouragement right now for me, and so I hope that they will be for you too. So the first verse is Isaiah 41.10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you as my righteous right hand. We as Christians, we do not have to fear during this time. We do not have to fear for the things that's, that are happening in this world right now because God is still in control and God is our Father in heaven. He will take care of us no matter what because we are His children. Right now, I feel very strongly that God is trying to tell us something right now because there aren't any sports on TV. All we see is news, 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 and everyone's taken to social media, YouTube, and a lot of consumption of media. But I think this is a great opportunity for us to take the time to just quiet ourselves and quiet our minds and just slow down for a little bit. Just slow down. We're always so busy, but booked and busy with all our schedules. I think right now is the time to trust and seek the Lord's face even more. And He promised us that He will never leave us, even in a year of drought. Right now, everything is going on in this world with the virus and it can make us anxious, but if we trust in the Lord and seek His face, I just pray and hope for that things will become better. The next verse that I've been clinging to a lot is 2 Timothy 1.7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. So we do not have to fear as Christians during this weird period of time. I think that we should just take this time that we have right now to kind of like slow down in life a little bit and to grow closer to God. It's a perfect time to be like, okay, I'm going to dive into my Bible. Lord, what do you want me to say right now? What message do you want me to share? What message are you trying to share with me? Because we always say we don't have enough time for things, but now time is actually on our side. I believe that we will be like the tree planted by the water. And Jesus says that we will even bear more fruit. I love these verses because they remind us, number one, that God is in control, that we never had control. We may have thought we had control. We might have wanted to pretend like we had control, but we never really did. God has always had control and he has control now. And also for the people who are not Christian, who do not believe in God, I just want to tell you that it is good to kind of like reflect on life and to think about the big questions in life about what are we doing here, what's my purpose, what's um, gonna happen after I die, and things like that, just the big life questions. I just want to encourage you just to not give into this panic mode that the world is operating in right now, but instead give into the peace mode that God is able to give you. And I just want to encourage you to put your faith and trust in Him, 
even if you feel alone or scared just put your hope in Jesus because he can bring hope and he can bring peace even in these hard times also don't forget to pray for each other it's so easy during this time to think about how scared we are and to think about how things could go so wrong and i think that something we have to remember is that god loves us so much and he knows what's best and the whole world doesn't revolve around us but it revolves around god's plan and so i think that when you look at it that way we really are just a breath of vapor the bible says we're here for one second and gone the next i just want to encourage you to think about life and maybe even give jesus a chance he really does have control over everything we don't need to be afraid um, we just need to keep clinging to the truth that he will strengthen us he is our god we can depend on him no matter what comes whether it be good or bad we don't know where things are going to go from here but we can always cling to him trust in him and have faith this is my command be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go during this time of uncertainty i hope that you are diving into your bible i hope you're spending more time in prayer and whether this virus goes on for a long time or it ends here shortly um, whatever happens will be done to glorify god and i just pray that by the end of it we come out of it with stronger faith and we can share with other people what we know about god and how good he is this too shall pass and i'm sending all positive vibes to you while you're at home with your family or your friends or with just yourself we live in a fallen world and there is a barrier between man and god and god loves people and he does not want this barrier between us that's why he decided to send his son to jesus to this earth to die for our sins so we can have a place in heaven so that we can have a personal relationship with god so he's basically the one that came to this earth to break down that barrier between man and God. So whoever chooses to believe Jesus and to follow him can have a relationship with God. They can have a personal connection with God because that barrier is just going to fall down whenever you choose to follow Jesus and to choose to have him in your heart and everything. I will write down a little prayer down below that if you do want to make that choice, then you can pray that little prayer. I hope that was encouraging. I hope you all are staying healthy and doing well. And again, thank you so much to Lenise for having me on your channel. Um, I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for you and your husband and your little baby. So I hope you guys are doing really well and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And sure, everything goes well with you. I want to ask you, stay home. So don't, don't forget, it's just Temporary. I hope that I really encourage someone with these words. That's what I wanted to share. We're gonna get through this.